Hello everybody, this is Queen Lenore with the Love and Live show and today we're going to talk about some entrepreneurship jobs that you can have, do, follow through on, I don't know, just things, entrepreneur. So I will need you to subscribe, I need you to hit that bell notification, I also need you to give me a thumbs up and comment below and of course I need you to share this video. I just realized how much that rhymed. It's so weird to me. So anything, anyway, there's things that I have been trying out that I think you should do and understand. So first, if you're watching this, you might already have a YouTube channel. If you do, then you need to work your YouTube channel as a business. That means there's going to be things you have to do. You have to look at other people's channels. You need to do some research. You need to figure out what your niche is and what what is a niche. A niche is basically what your channel is basically about. Because you don't want people to be all over the place and don't know what your niche is about. Mine's I have a lot of niches, but um, I uh, niches, but I. Uh, how many categories of who I am. I love talking about inspiration, uh, what people should do positively. I love to give um, relationship advice. I also found out by doing this and research and stuff, I love doing mukbangs. I even love doing challenges that I can't, I just can't finish the challenges, but it never stops me from trying anyway. I also, um, when I had Twitch, I love doing makeup tutorials and I'm not really good at makeup but I just have fun doing it anyway so you'll see like a makeup video sometime come on but it's to find out where you are and I think to find out where you are you can stay in the lower no and your lower numbers these are the time for you to really truly find out what you are and what you like and what people like to see from you so you can see where your high views are and your low views but the, you have to and I say it completely because I didn't know it until I started really working in as a business that this is a business and like any business if you start a clothing store or anything like that you have to work hard to get clientele and you have to market you have to be busy and get people to subscribe to your channel and not only to subscribe because that what does that mean oh they subscribe and you need them to watch your channel you need them to them to focus on your channel and watch it and get your views up and all that so all these different things that you need it's a must okay so I'm doing it and I'm struggling through it but I'm working hard at it and no matter how sometimes I get frustrated that have all these big old followers uh, subscribers and then it goes down you got to be prepared for any of that that's just like sales in any business it goes up and down up and down you cannot let it distract you and that is why I think a lot of people don't make it too far into the YouTube business is because they didn't really think of it as a job they just thought of it as a side business a side hustle something quick and easy to make money ain't so quick and easy to make money it's a hard job also, you could do a t-shirt business. They got plenty of things that you can do t-shirt business. You can, and, um, so if you don't have the equipment at home, or like me, I have the equipment at home, but I don't have the stuff to put in the equipment to learn to make the mistakes and stuff like that, because you need, what, money. So, but they have these other websites that you can put, build a t-shirt and make money off of them as well. There's, um, you could do photography, you like photo, 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 photography, take a lot of nice pictures and sell them. If you like to paint or draw, you can do those and sell them. And you can do those online and sell them online easily on Facebook, on Instagram, Twitter, even on YouTube. You can get these things done and enjoy it and have fun. Just things you can do. And you can record yourself doing these things for your YouTube channel as well. Also, you can do the makeup business, lip gloss. My daughter does lip gloss. My nephew does teas. Um, the person I usually do my talk and I'll show with, she does teas and herbals and hair stuff and everything. You There's a lot of different ways you can just make money without spending a lot of money. Because that's what a, a lot of people are at right now, especially in this pandemic. Like, uh, what can we do? Uh, like. I don't have any money to start my own business. But there's these places that you can. You just have to actually look it up, Google it. You'd be surprised of all the different things that you can do that you don't even have to touch your hands on, and you can make money. You can write a book, a song, a play, anything. You can write poetry. You can blog. You can vlog. You can do all kinds of stuff that will help you make money. But 
the thing about it is when you do any of these things, you have to understand you have to market yourself. You're going to have to go out there and make sure how can I get people to watch what I'm doing or pay for what I'm doing. Because people could go, I could do the same thing you do, but you want to make sure the way you're marketing, your sales position, you have to sell yourself. So you have to have the confidence in yourself to be able to do these things for your business. I don't care what it is. I don't care how easy it is. And people will tell you, oh, you can do Avon. Everybody loves Avon. Well, yeah, everybody does love Avon, but there's so many Avon representatives out there. So what's going to make you stand out above all the other Avon or Mary Kay or Pamper Chef or uh, what is there's a candy coated candy coated business? Uh, whatever. There's businesses everywhere, all kinds, to sex business, to all this. What can you do? I mean, if you're going to be a consultant, are you good at what you're doing? Or do you, you got to learn and then you got to sell yourself on being a consultant and then you got to stop being a consultant for free. Whoo. And then you still got to do what? Market yourself, brand yourself. You got to do it all just to do it. So I don't care what position, what job you get, you got to work your butt off on it. You cannot play around. You can't sit here and be tired and be sick all the time. You got to just say, I got to do it. I got to get up. I got to be able to work, work, work and do it. You got to find your niche and everything. If you got to spend money, it might have to pause on this one. And let me go over here and do this free one. This free one can start me some money if I work really hard on this free one. And then I could put, invest and put money over here. Ta-da! You can. I see people on Facebook selling food, drinks, um, all kinds of stuff. So you can do little things too. And if you have food stamps, you can really do it. So it doesn't cost you nothing. You know, your kids might starve a little, but I'm just joking. I don't mean to spend all your food stamps. But sometimes we buy stupid stuff. Right? We buy candy and junk food instead of buying that. You can buy stuff that's going to bring money in the house. And you can use it as your family as well. So those are, you can use it for your family as well. So those are different things you can do. But the one thing I wanted to get you to understand and know really much is that you have to put in a lot of work. You have to invest in yourself. And if you're not going to invest in yourself, why should anybody else work, invest in you? If you're not important enough to invest in you, why should anybody else? Those are things you need to think about. Are you going out there marketing? I mean, I was watching... Um, it's only on Netflix, and it only got two seasons. So I was watching a rap game, and then one thing he did, he was like on a big show to find out if they're going to sign with Jermaine Dupri. They had to go out and hustle to get people to come in to their show and see the show. I mean, they had to do all kinds of stuff for that. So you got to do the same thing. You got to work hard. You got to believe in what you're doing. You got to sit down and figure it out. So I found out, like, just... Me doing YouTube, I got to look at other people's videos. I try to comment on their videos and talk to them. And then I try to do other ways. And then I got to share my video. I got to share it on my page and any other pages I have. I got to constantly do that to build. And now, even though I might not have thousands of subscribers, and I might not even be monetized, I have good subscribers who watch my video, who comment on it, they have good content, and I know that they like what I'm doing, so that's good. It's just really now how I'm going to get other people to see it and enjoy it, and those are things that you have to really, really focus on, because you have to put in the work. You get me scared of the work for what you got to do, so even if you're going to build your website, on fashion, just like you, you know all the information about fashion. You way better than any fashion designers and all that. You put that on yourself on your page, but you gotta still advertise you advertise your website. You gotta market it. You gotta get people to come to you, your web page. So, regardless, it's gonna take time. Um, other things you can do freelance jobs. Like you could go on Fiverr and do freelance jobs and and build people's logos, do data entry. Um, Take photography, uh, photographs of people. You can also go and people like you just want you to wear their sign and get people to subscribe and sign up to their page. And that's what you do. And you pay these people to do that. Then they will talk about it. Or you can go ahead and hook up with an influencer because you're not an influencer yet until you build up to become an influencer. But that's another whole other job is being an influencer. See what there's out there to do so you can so you might say i have a regular job what am i supposed to do quit this job and work on this job all the time 
No, you work your job and you work the heck out of the job that you have. And then when you leave, you go and you put in some hours in your business and you work the heck out of the, your job and your business. Those is what you're going to do. That's how you're going to make the money you want to make. That's how you're going to achieve your goals. And it's not going to always come like this. Some people like this. Other people... And then it's a little thing. And then it might go for the races. And you might pass up the people that already was monetized or had their business um, way longer than you. And you might pass them up because you're con you have mastered your content. You have mastered your product. You have mastered whatever you were supposed to do. So, yeah. Now you know. You could go out there and be an entrepreneur, and it's not a hassle, and it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. And if it does cost you a lot of money to start your business, you start a different business to put that money over there because the, your job that you're working, your nine to five job or your, whatever your position is, that's going for your bills and stuff. So you have to have a job just to pay for your entre your other business. So start your entrepreneur business over here that doesn't cost you any money, and then put it towards your business now. And there you go, ta-da. Are working and working and working until you get people to do what they need to do so your business can grow. I hope that helps you. Remember to love and live each day as if it were your last. I need you to hit that subscribe button, the bell notification. Of course, I need you to thumbs it up, comment below, and share this video. Smooches.